Good afternoon. It is March the 6th, 2023, coming to you from the Enchanted Princess Casino. So today is going to be a different talk. So I have so many people ask me all the time, Mark, it's great that you play all the table games and get free cruises, but how about if you're a slot player? Okay, let me tell you what I know about getting free cruises on slot machines. Okay, first of all, Princess and Carnival, owned by Carnival Corporation, they do not give up the ghost. They will not tell you what you need to do to get the free cruises, unlike Royal Caribbean and Celebrity gives, Royal Caribbean owns Celebrity. For instance, on Royal Caribbean, you can, uh, you know where you stand. You can even ask them, you know, what do you need to do to get certain comps, and they will tell you. For instance, if you you get 5,000 points on Royal Caribbean, you'll get some good comps. You may even get an interior room, okay? If you get 10,000 points, you may get an exterior room. 15,000 points, you may get a balcony. 20,000 points, you may get a mini suite. 25,000 points, you may get a suite. Okay, that is maybe, okay? Because they still can, uh, kind of throw in the objective point of view or subjective point of view or like they call it here on Princess Cruises the algorithms which I call that malarkey but we're gonna go over that one here in a little bit about what Princess Cruises you need to do to get free cruises and that is good for Princess and Carnival Cruises but I'm gonna tell you the the uh, what to expect and how to get the free cruises uh, issued the last day by the casino host, or which I eloquently point out, it slid under your door by the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, or Santa Claus. Okay, that is from the casino host or hostess, and then that gets your foot in the door, and then you will receive mailers and emails from the Players Club Casino from Princess and or Carnival Players Club and that will be uh, weekly mailers and emails and those cruises free cruise offers are for three free new bookings up to 20 day bookings where the offer that slid under your door the maximum offer you will receive is for one free cruise most of the time it goes up to 18 or 19 days, but it just depends on how they feel and what kind of offer they want to give you. But the best offer that they will slide under your door, the, the casino host or hostess will slide under your door the night before the last day of sea day, is they will slide under your door um, one free cruise offer with some amount of free play on your next cruise booking and then like the plus three package which is the free wi-fi free gratuities and the free drinks so let's go back to the royal caribbean and celebrity okay they are a lot more um, lenient for telling you that how to hit the benchmarks and what you get you get so um they actually have did one time uh, they had had like almost a brochure thing where if you hit 5,000 points you get this 10,000 points you get that the only thing that's unclear for me is that most of these are for one cruise free cruise offer they're not for multiple free cruise offers like princess and carnival gives all the time so let's switch back over here to princess and carnival okay and uh, since I spend most of my time uh, 21 days at least each month on Princess Cruises. Um, Princess Cruises, depending on each casino cruise ship staff, will be how much you get as a free cruise offer or a free offer. So a few days ago, I kind of went to the horse's mouth here, the person in charge of the casino slot machines, the manager. I said to him, I said, tell me exactly how you can obtain free cruise offers here on the Princess Cruise ships. And his response was, Mark, I don't know. 
Huh. Now I'm thinking to myself, if you're the casino manager or the slot machine manager and you can't tell me how many points you need to obtain the different levels of free cruises, then there's something wrong. You either are, hmm, I'm not even going to use certain words. I'm just saying that seems unrealistic to me that the, the slot machine manager can't tell you that. So what he told me was this, that they, they at this, uh, on the, each cruise, they have like a group of people that does the algorithms. Really? Algorithms? He said they don't know the exact number, but through algorithms, they decide on what level of, of offer you receive while you're on this cruise ship. Okay, so let's just take that at face value for a minute and say that they are doing the algorithms, okay? So, I can tell you that I have witnessed over the past two years some slot players that are heavy slot players, and they're, get, they're at 5,000, 10,000, 15, 20,000, 25,000 points, and they get slid under the door varying offers. So there are three levels of offers that whether you're playing slots or table games and on points, there's three levels that the casino host will slide under your door for your current cruise. And it goes like this. The lowest level of if you play, I don't know, maybe 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 points and you don't make it up to a free cruise amount, they will slide under your door some percentage off on your next cruise, off of your next one cruise. And it's like thir you may get anywhere from 15 to 50% off your next cruise. So that will be, most people are ending up like 25, 30% off your next cruise. To me, that's horrible. That's because like one person said to me that I know really well here, they said, how do you judge how much the original cost of that cruise was? So anyhow, level one stinks. That's the nicest word I can use. Okay, level two is simple, okay? If you play a lot more and uh, the algorithms are in your favor on the slot machines, then you will get like anywhere from 150 to $3,000 worth of free play on your next cruise. Now, so if you get free cruise offers through the mail or through email to you, then you can add that additional amount of free play to a new booking. You can't add it ever to an existing booking. It has to be on a new cruise booking. But you can, so let's say you get a free cruise and $500 in free play and the plus three with Princess, and you book that offer. And then you got slid under your door by Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, or the Tooth Fairy, the last night before its last sea day. Let's say you got slid under your door $500 in additional free play on your next cruise. You can take that $500 when you call your Princess Players Club um, agent and, uh, oh, that's another long story, but anyhow. Uh, you need to get the hotline to the Princess Players Club and not use the arbitrary one they slide under the door because that will put you sometimes on an internal hold. Now they have a new system where they will call you back and don't lose your place in line. But anyhow, the best thing is when you really get established, you can have your own Princess Cruise uh, person, Princess Players Club person, not Princess Cruise, Princess Players Club person. So you get anywhere from 150 to $3,000 on your next cruise. Most people end up anywhere from 250 to $500, okay? You know, I've gotten, you know, I've gotten before 1,500, I've gotten 800, I've gotten 1,000. But most people will get, it falls between 500 and $1,000, okay? That still is not a very good offer because you're still buying a cruise. The best offer is this, you gotta play balls to the wall. Play that week hard, you know, buy in strong, like I've talked before, and I'll go over that, what you need to do exactly here at the end of this video. But the other offer that you will get is the third level. It's the best level, and uh, what it does is you'll get slid under your door, 
at the end of the, each cruise, uh, some amount like a free room. It may be a free interior, exterior, balcony, mini suite, or suite, depending on the level of play that you did during this current cruise you are on, period. Algorithm smatherisms, I don't know. But anyhow, it is based on your amount of play for the current cruise you are on. Okay, and it's for one cruise. So you'll get a free offer. Let's just say that you were at the, I'm gonna just guesstimate and say, you got $15,000 worth of 1,500, 15,000 points. So let's say that gets you a free balcony, one free balcony, okay? It will also come with uh, some amount of free play on your next cruise or on that cruise that you're getting ready to book. And it will generally be, if you're at that level, you're gonna generally get $500,000, $1,500 in additional free play, depending on the level of play. And then you will also receive the plus three, which is the premium drinks, the Wi-Fi, and all the crew appreciation or gratuities, which is normally $15, $16, $17 a day per person in each cabin. So uh, that's a great one. You wanna always try to get the Princess Plus Three package, period, given to you instead of paying for it. So that is, uh, that, that's the, the line. But So I'm guessing that you get 15,000 points will get you a balcony. Um, you may even get a mini suite and $500, $1,000. So that means that you've really played balls to the wall. Now, how do you get that? How do you get the free cruises? How do you get those, the level three offers? Now, I just, I just talk about saying it's a level three. You can call it ABC levels, I don't care. But I can tell you that's the only three kind of level offers that you get on princess cruises, period, from the casino host. Okay, so, and if you talk to them and say, well, what am I getting? Or you don't get much of an offer and you say, why didn't I get a good offer? They're not gonna tell you anything. So don't try to go and think that you're gonna fight with them and, and say, you know, I've got 12,000 points and I should be getting a free room. Algorithms, that's what they're gonna tell you, algorithms. So one of the worst feelings in the world is when you come and you play and you buy in big and you stay there for hours and unfortunately you're probably gonna lose money at the slot machines and uh, you don't get a letter under your door. You get, you get, you know, 30% off or 50% off your next cruise. That is terrible. So how this works is this, is that, now I'm not saying this, it, that some rare occasion doesn't happen and somebody just gets automatically a free room from not betting much or not buying in much, but I'm telling you, generally speaking, and I know this because I've had several people email me and tell me this, that one gentleman said this quite specifically. He said his wife would go on Princess Cruises and she would always just put in $100 each time. Play $100, get up and leave, put in another $100, even charge the room $100 each time. And cumulatively, over the, co the cruise time, he said that she would maybe put in $2,000, $3,000, you know, a, a cumulative amount. And he said she would never get anything better offer than maybe 30% off the next cruise or maybe $250 in free play, but she never got a free room. I know that to be a fact because how it works is this, is he said that he told his wife to go and put a $1,000 minimum on your room when you first start playing the slot machines. Don't diddle with $100 or $50 or $200. Put $1,000 in on your room. And he said, he said, you know, he said, Mark talks about the system of, a, you have to have a high buy-in because it gets their attention. So she put in $1,000 and uh, she did it every night. I'm not, don't, then you cash out if you lose a couple hundred dollars and uh, go c cash out and then come back again and put another thousand dollars on your room. And you may uh, cash out with, you know, five or six hundred dollars. You may cash out with fifteen hundred dollars. It doesn't matter. But each time put a thousand dollar minimum on, 
on your uh, room when you're playing slots. If you want to load, like I do, load a thousand dollars worth of hundred dollar bills into the machine, fantastic. Because I always say cash is king. So you get more credit when, like for instance, when I play craps or blackjack. I throw a thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollars out on the table like a fan, along with my medallion. Okay, because then they have cash is king. You can do it on your room too, but you get more attention, and they get they really watch you uh, and rate you better when you uh, you throw out that cash because they know you're going for free rooms. There's a lot of tricks I can and tips. Watch a lot of my other videos about tipping the dealers and being nice to them and finding the host or hostess. As a slot machine player, it is really imperative that the first night you go in there, say, hi, I am Susie and I am here to play slots and I'm, I'm really working for comps. I wanna get some comps from you so that they know they put you on their radar that they can come up and talk to you and say, hey, Susie, would you like to have a free steak dinner at the Crown Grill for you and your spouse and a bottle of wine? Would you like to have a spa day? Would you like to have um, uh, a gift card for the gift shop? Would you like to go on an excursion? Okay, I tell this all the time. When they ask you that question and the hostess comes up to you and says, the host comes up to you and says, would you like these things? My answer is always the same. I don't care if you're playing slots, craps, blackjack, poker, it doesn't matter. My answer is always the same. Yes, yes, and yes. I want everything they can offer, okay? But the key is you gotta hold their feet to the fire. Now, most cruise ships, the, the staff, the, the hosts are, are really gracious on what they will do for you and what kind of odds they will give you. Well, on this cruise ship, they are not as gracious and uh, the hosts are almost like ghosts, if you will. So it's, it's hard to find exactly them. I've been on this cruise ship basically since December the 28th. Uh, so it's been a long time and getting off here March the 9th and then heading out on the Royal uh, Princess out of San Francisco for uh, a nice 15 day cruise and then back on the Caribbean Princess for seven straight weeks. So anyhow, I cruise a lot, but that's going off a different rabbit trail. So anyhow, it's hard sometimes to find the host here. And uh, now granted, there's a lot of people playing in here. You know, normally 10% of the people on a cruise ship play here. This number is like 3,700 people on the cruise ship. So there's always 360, 70 people in this cruise ship. It is jam packed, smoke filled. And uh, anyhow, but I, I have given different videos on the breakdown of the different slot machines. How many of them are smoking? How many of them are not smoking? I'm sitting in the sm non-smoking area right now in front of the windows. Uh, but on the other side in front of the cashier, there's like 96 smoking uh, slot machines and boy they get smoky at nighttime you almost need a you know a mask to walk through there but anyhow okay so the deal is this buy in every night on the slot machine with at least a thousand dollars okay and keep buying in with a thousand dollars cash out if you get to lose and don't drop the whole thousand dollars okay so many people just keep thinking they're gonna hit the jackpot okay if you get if you put a thousand dollars in and you're playing and it's sucking eggs and you're down to three hundred dollars you're down to seven hundred dollars you just lost three hundred dollars cash in and get out of there go cash in your ticket get it turned in i give a lot of videos on how much to put in and not to put in when you cash in but that's a whole other video and uh, so get out of there but you have to cumulatively put in a single time put in a thousand dollar minimum and just keep putting in a thousand dollars keep cashing out and then keep going back to the casino a thousand dollars each night okay you do not have to lose the whole thousand dollars each night if you do you're there's something wrong okay because you do not want to do that because you can pay for a cruise so many people ask me mark do i have to lose a thousand two thousand three thousand five thousand dollars every single night if you're smart you won't so just drop two or three hundred dollars and get out of there and go see a show do something different go spend time with your spouse, whatever it is, but don't don't drop that thousand dollars thinking you're gonna hit the, uh, the grand jackpot, because mm, 
casinos in Las Vegas and cruise ships were never built on winners. So the odds are you're going to lose. And people that say that they always win, I'll tell you what, slot machine people are, are the most notorious for telling me, oh man, I hit a $3,000 jackpot. I hit $1,800. I hit $10,000 jackpot. Well, how many times did, how much did it cost for you to hit that $10,000 jackpot? And how often does that happen? 99% of the time, people are in the negatives on playing any gambling. Gambling is bad, except when you are going for free cruises. I tell this, and like there's, there's nothing worse than trying to get free cruises and falling short and getting a percentage offer, free play offer. You've got to get, this is the other thing, you get your feet in the door. If, if all of a sudden you get just 30% off of a cruise slid under your door, the mailers and emails that you will get for a long time will always be a percentage off of your next cruise, okay? They might even give you three cruise offers for percentages off, but you won't get the high level of the, the free cruises and the, uh, the free play and the plus three program, okay? But if you get initially, go balls to the wall, I tell people, even in slot machines, the first week, you may end up divorcing your spouse because you're gonna be in there a long time, but pretend like you're applying for the best job when you're sitting at that slot machine. So have the best resume. And the best way to do that is just keep putting $1,000. Whatever the maximum number that you can put in a slot machine on from your room do that right away and then play and play long and you can't just bet the minimums you can't bet eight cents or 88 cents too often i mean you can mix it up but i'm just telling you the general rules of thumb here okay the algorithms so just play two to four hours every night Put in thousand dollar minimums or a thousand dollar whatever the maximum number is play off of that don't keep feeding it in in progressive hundred dollar twenty fifty i see so many people sitting at i almost made a freudian slip there and say a certain certain sex but i'm just going to say this because uh, just just put i seen somebody this one lady one time just putting in $5, $5, $5, $20, 20 10 10 and just kept feeding it. She probably fed it, you know, $800 sitting down. Put in $1,000, the max, off your room. That will get you at a high level of comps and ratings through the eyes of the casino and the casino's players club, period. So that's the story. Play. Make sure you know who that host and hostess host is and also the casino manager. Make sure they know who you are and the slot machine manager because they are keeping a watch on you and they are the ones that can give you anything that you want while you're on the cruise. And they will rate you and then they will tell, then, they, then the players club, you will be in the system. So that's the story. That's the best I can give you for getting free cruises. So... Till then, subscribe to my channel. Look at a lot of my other uh, gambling uh, ideas on free cruises. Uh, and subscribe to my channel. So till then, you'll have a really good day.